Hey guys, so this is Hack5's latest gadget. As is tradition, it's named after an innocuous carbon-based life form, in this case, a squirrel. I'm making this video after having had it for less than 24 hours, so consider this an array of initial impressions rather than a full-on review. So here it is, the packet squirrel in a nutshell. Malduino is the Arduino-based bad USB. Inject keystrokes at lightning speed, gain a shell, change someone's desktop wallpaper. With the Elite version, simply store and select between up to 16 different scripts on a microSD card. To find out more, see the link in the video description. The packet squirrel is a mini man in the middle platform. It has two ethernet ports, one for the victim, the other for the LAN. As the leaflet puts it, packets go in, packets go out. What happens in between, that's up to you. The switch on the side allows you to select between four different modes. There's scope for up to three different payloads, with the fourth being the arming mode, which allows you to configure what the other three do. In order for the packet squirrel to do anything, it needs a power source applied through the micro USB connector. It does not support power over ethernet. You could use a power bank or a mains adapter, though this is a bit of a bummer since it increases the size of the squirrel by quite some margin. It would have been nice to see a LiPo connector on the side along with a charging circuit, which would have kept the overall footprint much smaller and would have been way more convenient. Though it only uses between 100 and 150 milliamps, so it will easily last a full working day on only a 2 amp hour battery bank. The packet squirrel has a USB port, which as I gather is mainly used for plugging in a USB flash drive in order to store any captured communication for easy recovery. More on that in a sec. The button on the side is used in certain payloads to start and stop scripts. The overall package is pretty bland, though that's exactly what you need from pen testing gear, so no complaints there. The three payloads that come as default are TCP dump, DNS spoof and OpenVPN. The TCP dump payload allows you to easily save TCP through flow as PCAP files on a USB stick. The USB stick will need to be formatted to NTFS or EXT4, though once done, simply connect up the Ethernet, plug in the drive, apply power, and it'll just start logging. Once done, just press the button located on the side and it'll stop. A loot folder on the USB stick will contain all the logs communication. These PCAP files can be opened in Wireshark. The second default payload is DNS spoof. By default, it will simply redirect all DNS requests to the IP of the squirrel. However, you can configure it to redirect certain domains to custom IP addresses, a very powerful tool. The third payload is OpenVPN. There are two options here. Firstly, you can have the squirrel act as a server such that you'll be able to tunnel into it and gain remote access to whatever network it's plugged into. Very useful to use as a back door. Though alternatively, you can configure it to tunnel everything from the target device through an OpenVPN connection. Very useful if you want to use it to gain access to your home network from afar. However, this brings me on to the squirrel's main disadvantage. Unfortunately, throughput is limited to 100 megabits. This means that any target machine will be limited to, well, 100 megabits. I'm sure in most cases this will be just fine. However, with the advent of high-speed internet connections, it may become quite obvious to a victim that something isn't right. I have pretty good internet in my college dorm, though if I suddenly found my speeds drastically lowered, I'd know something wasn't quite right, which would prompt me to follow the trail. However, I can't really criticize Hack5 for this. Gigabit isn't something you can simply just tack on. It's, it's not that simple. Besides, trying to log a gigabit connection over USB, just not gonna happen. It's an unfortunate compromise, though quite understandable. Anyway, do keep in mind the three payloads I mentioned are only default ones. By setting the switch to the fourth position, you can put it into arming mode, which allows you to SSH into it and configure the default scripts to your heart's content. In order to make your own payloads, you will need to know what you're doing, as Squirrel script only helps with a few basic things. The packet scroll costs roughly $60. Links to the Hack5 website are in the description. So what do you think of this furry mammal? Do let me know down in the comments. Perhaps suggest some ideas for future projects with it. If you like this video, Video, do remember to like it, subscribe if you haven't already, remember to follow me on the Twitters and the Instagrams, and as always, stay tuned for more hacking videos. Have a good one.